Hey everybody, it's Casey Cole Corbin with Dynamic Fluid Art Coaching. We, this is the free webinar for Wednesday, which is supposed to be the third in our, season, our series, but actually is the second <laughs> because I had a medical leave issue yesterday. So and I'm on a few minutes early, so just to give time for people to sign on. And so if you will please put into the comments um, uh, where you're from, and if uh, this is the first one that you're catching, if you didn't catch the, uh, the one uh, on Monday or even the one uh, two Mondays ago, which was kind of an overview for everything, then uh, please tell me why are you attending this? What is, it, what is the thing that's uh, out of these five topics that is the um, most interesting to you, the one you want to know about? And so that kind of feedback helps me out a lot. It helps me to be able to uh, kind of custom these as we go to be something that is um, uh, meeting your particular need. So again, I got three o'clock and we're just stalling a little bit for people to show up. Um, and uh, so we'll just kind of chit chat, you know, for a little bit. Um, we're going to, I'm just using the uh, share screen today instead of the uh, more fancier <laughs> approach that I did yesterday. And so I'd love your feedback on that as far as which one is better for you. So. If you like the uh, the other one, um, I do think as I listened to yesterday, there was kind of a noise on my end, and I think that it's because I was using my um, my iPhone um, mic, and it was kind of clanging against uh, something else, you know, as I moved, and so that's that's not good. I have a, a very nice Bluetooth microphone that um, was damaged, and so I actually just got the thing emailed from them to be able to send it back to them and they're going to replace it but unfortunately that's probably not going to help us here in this webinar so <laughs> but it won't get here by um <laughs> by saturday so all right so kathy i see you there all right watching uh, let me know if you can hear me okay i'd like to uh know how everybody's doing okay good and so my phone is just a little bit um delayed in all of this and so autumn i see you there and sandy hey sandy and jess you were on just a second ago for a little trial run uh, about a half an hour ago i think and uh stacy all right very good to see you and denise howdy howdy all right and ann very good okay thank you guys for joining me um so much and let me know how um how the series has been for you so far uh, what's what's been a value to you what has been your favorite part and maybe that specific information um, and <laughs> that says I can hear you over the lettuce munching I hope that's your lettuce that you're munching because I'm not munching uh, any lettuce I actually just finished some delicious macaroni and cheese homemade that my w wife made and then I added some bacon on top because you know macaroni and cheese is so healthy for you it needs a little bit <laughs> of help okay kathy says we're all good you can hear okay you can see okay uh this is the handout that we will be using and it's available for download on the group and uh you know i really try i have dyslexia um i'm also on the autism spectrum and so i have some i grew up you know going to um, special education because uh, I had some uh, learning disabilities, and uh, most of which I've mostly grown out of. Um, I still do have dyslexia, but it doesn't affect me as much, and was able to go to college and do well, you know, in that environment. But I learned that there's these three main learning style of audio, video, or kinesthetic, and so I try to represent those when I'm doing webinars like this, and so that's one reason why the handout kind of stands on its own. So if you're not a video watcher, you don't have to. You don't have to, you know, watch this. You don't have to, you know, if you're not an auditory learner, you don't have to listen to me, you know, narrating through the um, handout you could just get the handout you know if you want to either way it's just your preferred learning style and there's Camille our winner all right and hey Elaine how are you doing and Sharon good to see you guys all right so uh, today is a day that I have been looking forward to uh, for a long time well over a year I have been preparing something in the special announcement that I'm going to include somewhere in the middle of our presentation here today and I'm really excited to be able to share that with you all right, let me just remind you of a couple things while you guys are commenting. Hey, Brenda, um, 
the uh, you know if, if we haven't met yet please tell me where you're from um, please uh, put in a comment of what has been the most valuable aspect of this free webinar series to you and that can be specific content that's good to know but also maybe it's a style or a way of present of this presentation you know it's trying to be very personal uh, in its uh, approach and we're going to talk more about that when we talk about um, social media marketing later this week so please comment those things the replay again for all five of these will be available for only one week and then they will evaporate into the internet ether and so <laughs> please <laughs> make sure that you get there and uh, i know that brenda you said um brenda johns and said that you know you'd like to re-watch it and, and i don't blame you one bit because i mean there is we're averaging about seven pages of notes for each one of these uh, webinars and that is really packed with a lot of stuff and so you can uh, I would need to rewatch and uh, there's no way I'd be able to get that all in one setting so hey Pam glad that you're here all right thanks for joining us um, I think that probably everybody is already a member of my two free groups that I started over a year and a half ago which is the what selling group that helps people to sell fluid art and learn the market for it and then the teachers of flow which helps people learn how to make the transition from being uh, uh, passionate about your paint pouring to helping spread that passion like we're, we're like we're a dealer <laughs> it's a, almost as addictive as cocaine I think but <laughs> we could do that and Shan Shan Shannon you are in, in from California all right very good Great. All right. So you're sh in shifting mode from your business and hope this will give you some insight as far as what you want to do with it. That's great. Well, I really think that it will. All right. So thank you guys for your comments on that. That really helps. So as we go through the next aspect of the handout here is, uh, you know, not last Monday, a couple days ago, but the previous Monday we went over, I tried to do a 15 minute, went a little bit over webinar just to do an overview of fi all five of these. And that one, of course, is uh, it has evaporated, so it's no longer available. But uh, on Monday, we went through how to stand out and seriously establish yourself as a selling artist. It was packed um, with good information, and I got a lot of really good feedback from y'all about that. What we were supposed to do yesterday was the three tactics of how to make more than $1,000 teaching flow art in a half day workshop, but I had a teeny tiny little bee surgery instead. <laughs> and so I'll be, we're just going to move that one to Saturday. So I'll see you guys at three o'clock on Saturday for that one. So today's topic is going to be smart strategies for developing pricing structures that reach new students and maximizes your profits. All right. So how you price your classes, if you're teaching art, is very important. And, but to be honest with you, no matter what your choice, you're going to exclude someone. Low-income folks tell themselves they can't afford it, and high-income folks tell themselves they don't want to go unless it's a high enough quality for them, which is displayed by a higher price. And so either choice you make excludes somebody, unless you use something that we're going to really expand on today, which is what I call a three-tiered marketing approach in order to reach everyone. All right. Um, so remember what we talked about as far as connectors. These connectors are people that you uh, that you meet, and they are the person who um, are going to connect you to somebody else. It's your next stage of life in your business life, for example. And I've had many connectors in my life, people that um, may have attended my classes or maybe we've been friends for a long time. They found out what I'm doing, and they're saying, "Hey, I know somebody who you know maybe you could you could teach at their location. You could use their venue. You could get connected with their group. You know." Um, one lady that I talked about on Monday, one lady connected me to um, a great uh, sold out um, webinar, excuse me, um, workshop that I had. And, and then another class that I had, I did actually just two classes before I got fired in this <laughs> for my job and I had to ramp up to full time. But another one uh, I met, she was very similar. It was in a Vadasta website. I think there's only four people in attendance of that one. And she, believe it or not, was a marketer. She had 5,000 people on her website list. And what she did was she worked for a lawyer of all things. And she just sent out interesting articles from their webs from their email that kept them kind of plugged into their lawyer. Right. So this is just, I mean, it's amazing how digital marketing works today and how different it is. So, and she just went ape um, over, she did two really big things for me. One is, is that she went to, when she picked up her art two days later, she really talked me up. <laughs> she talked to the, um, 
the education director at the art center I was at, the executive director, um, the curator as well. She said she ta talked to them for about a half an hour about what a great time they had she had in my class, and that really got me uh, really cemented into that organization in which I've done many, many more uh, fluid art classes since then. So she uh, and then she then she featured me in this five thousand um, people that's on her uh, email address, right? And from there. Uh, I can trace back some great repeat uh, students I've had. One lady got the email and she lived down in Orlando, which is about four hours away from me. And she's actually come three times, drove from Orlando four hours, and she brings a friend with her <laughs> every time to attend my classes. And so these are just the great um, uh, ways that connectors work with us. And Jessica, I could see that your alarm didn't go off. But no problem. You haven't missed that much. You'll be able to uh, catch everything. And then, of course, there is the replay that's available. And then most everything that I'm going over is on the handout that you can download. So no sweat, no worries. All right. So your connectors are very, very important. Always be mindful about them. There's also a term called mavens, and mavens are people that kind of set the tone for what's fashionable next. They're, they're the trendsetters. Um, there's, there's whole books written about mavens, um, particularly in some of my favorite author is Malcolm Gladwell, and he talks about this. Um, oh my gosh, I read all of his books, and so I can't recall which one it is. But Malcolm Gladwell is a great guy. <laughs> he talks about mavens, and mavens, like he talks about connectors, uh, mavens kind of set the tone and they will take your product or your service and transfer it to a whole nother people group or a whole nother demographic. And one of the things that he illustrates in the book is, is a very old shoe company that was about to go out of business. Oh gosh, it's the one of the dog. Ah, should have, I did not prepare to talk about this today. <laughs> that's all I'm going off notes now. And uh, Hush Peppies, that's it, Hush Peppy Shoes. And they were about to go out of business, and what, they used the Maven approach. They reached some people that were uh, a younger set, younger group, that were going to all the right places, right? And I'm talking about New York and London and um, uh, California. And they would wear their Hush Puppy shoes. And all of a sudden, they had a huge resurgence. And now, all of a sudden, that was the hot new thing to be able to wear. And so they're, they rescaled their entire business. And um, it basically saved them from bankruptcy and has them highly, highly profitable today. So mavens are people that can help connect you to new people groups. And so that's one thing we want to be watching out for. I don't know about you, but when I'm teaching my class, the average attendee is around 50, 60, 70 years old female. And so whenever I have a male or a person of another generation, I am keeping my eye on to see if they could be a maven for me. Can they take this to their group? And now all of a sudden I have some more of people their age or their demographic now attending my classes. And we need that because if you just try to reach the same demographic time after time after time, eventually you're going to burn through them. That's just going to be it. You're going to, you know, you're not, they're not going to attend your classes, you know, forever. <laughs> so we need to be reaching brand new audiences. There's several ways to do that. Um, yeah, Sandy, Hush Puppy, that's the group, yeah. Um, and there's a, a couple different approaches, several different ideas about doing that. Two that I want to talk to you about today is, is about fundraising. So one is, is that just connecting with different organizations, now all of a sudden you have access to their list. We talked about their list before. It can be uh, garden clubs, uh, charities, churches, etc. And you get in there and you offer them a no-brainer fundraiser package where you say, no, my, my $125 class, um, I will offer it to your, your people. You show them how with a dozen people in their class, 10, 15, um, you know, maybe even more, people attending the class at that rate, that you're going to give them some additional canvases, you're going to do some additional things because you're so charitable. But let's not fool ourselves. We are in business to make money, so you want to make sure that you're walking away, not in the red, <laughs> but having a profit from it too. And you can do that. And it can be a very generous thing. So a portion of the proceeds goes to the uh, organization. I have another layer on that in which um, I offer that I offer an additional canvas to everybody. And that canvas that I'm giving them, which is not part of my normal offering, is for them to do an extra 
project and the extra project that they do is actually sold in a uh, auction by the organization and so if you had 12 people that attended this now they're gonna have 12 pieces that um, um, you know I offer even did to do uh, the it's the only time actually that I offer to do varnishing for my students and also framing and then put them on display let's say for example a private school and now they've got their halls um, lined with these uh, you know dozen 20 whatever um, art pieces and they're up for a silent auction on the website or maybe a live auction at one of their normal meetings and guess who's going to buy those normally it's their families <laughs> right and so uh you, they're going to be the ones that are going to be bidding the most you know they're, they'll be the ones who you know grandma wants to buy that you know piece that uh you know their daughter or granddaughter did so um that's a uh, and of course you're collecting email addresses when on the sign in you're building your list you are getting exposure to a new people group hopefully some of these folks are going to get very excited as we all have seen that done if we've done any teaching whatsoever and they're going to be contacting you about branching out and getting into uh, new groups okay all right so fundraising i think is a wonderful opportunity for us let's turn the corner to the three-tiered flow art class pr pricing structure all right one size pricing structures really limit us. And so instead, what you want to do is to do a multi-tiered approach. Now, I'm not saying it has to be three tiers. I've got three tiers for an example for you today. today. But you could have five tiers, you could have 15 tiers, you could even have two tiers. But you need to be able to off have different offerings for different people groups. And that way you're not excluding certain folks. You're putting uh, like a menu out in front of folks and they can pick the one that best fits their needs, their budget, etc. Okay, so remember the handout that we have here. You can uh, definitely refer back to it, get it afterwards, because we are going to have quite a bit of content uh, in today. All right, good. So the three tiers. The first one, we could call it uh, low, medium, or high. <laughs> the better word choices are ease of entry, and two would be your basic, and then three would be your premium. All right. So here's how you want to build towards it. I want you to treat everything that you do as a direction that you eventually want to get into. Now, we're not talking about beginners and advanced here, all right? I know that um, particularly when you are working with art centers, they are wanting to put on your description whether or not your class is for beginners or your beginners are for advanced students. That kind of limits us as well. Right, I don't like those, and I, I try to get my art centers to not put that type of um, word, verbiage on the descriptions. Uh, one of the advantages that we have in this particular niche here of flow art is that anyone can have some great success even on their first attempt, particularly if you're standing right there with them with some great instruction and some great prep work provided by you. Uh, so I avoid those uh, descriptors as I really don't want people to decide, you know, whether or not they're advanced or beginners. So let's say, for example, that I wanted to do a one-hour standalone angel tree pour and a new student that literally just came right off the street, haven't touched paint in years. And if, could you, or could you not, just using your mixes, everything's mixed up ahead of time, um, tell them what to do, right? and then walk them through the, the steps and they could make a great angel wing pour, right? I picked angel wing because it's the one I've had the least amount of success with. Mine go cattywampus <laughs> all the time. And I usually explain to my students that uh, it's called an angel wing pour and maybe they'll look like angel wings, but if not, they still can look really cool. <laughs> it's gonna be a neat experience, right? And you know, could this person who has not touched paint in years walk out an hour later, um, having accomplished a piece that looks really neat, and have an attitude where they could tell you, tell the people when they see their art, yeah, yeah, I'm the artist, I'm the one who did this. And so they don't necessarily need to know the nine different steps of, that I teach, or the basic, or what I call the fundamentals uh, techniques of all that we do here: dirty pour, flip cup, swipe, all that kind of stuff. Before they're able to do an angel wing pour. All right. So I'd like for us to get out of the mindset of beginner and advanced because that does limit us. 
However, after they do, might go to one of my fun classes where they're not learning how to um, mix and they're not learning all the basics. Once they do something that's really cool, I bet you now they're interested in one of my workshops. So for me, that's the difference between one of my fun classes and one of my learning workshops. And so what people can, you know, have a ease of entry buy-in on a fun class and then a uh, then pay 100, 125, 150 for a um, uh, almost you know four and a half hour a day workshop that um, you know now they're interested in taking this thing further but maybe they're not ready to go from cold to close on um, <laughs> on a hundred fifty dollar class like that all right so we want to constantly be building towards our premium offer and I'd like for us to do a little bit of a brainstorming exercise right now we have to we have to learn to dream and it helps us to learn to dream and to dream big all right, so in our, in our, we think of dreams as being something that maybe not be accomplishable in our life, you know, but it's my dream to do that, right? But if we back that dream, it's best to start with your dream. And then if you back that off a little bit, that could be your long-term goal. That's a little bit more practical. And then you have short-term goals and then intermediate goals and things that you're doing right now to be able to get to where you want to go. So it's just as a brainstorming exercise, what I'd really love for you to do is, and you're going to have to trust me, okay? <laughs> you're going to have to lend me some trust. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you're willing to do it, it can intensify your focus. And so for just a minute, if we could do this mental exercise, I'm going to invite you to just get as comfortable as you can right now, wherever you're at. Taking a deep breath down into your belly. It's called diaphragmatic breathing. Breathing into your diaphragm. Remember, I'm a therapist. <laughs> Exhale slowly while you become aware of your body. And on your next inhale and slow exhale, I want you to be aware of your feet. And let the comfort that is there in your feet slowly travel up your legs. And I'll invite you to have your eyes closed. As you focus. If you need to adjust for comfort in your chair, laying down, standing, wherever you're at right now, just remember you can do that. And just allow yourself to focus. And on your next exhale, allow that peace and comfort to slowly move up your torso and to relax your shoulders and go down your arms and your hands and then even go up to the top of your head. Now dream. What is the ideal workshop at the ideal price, at the ideal location that you would love to teach someday? Visualize the location. Maybe it's an art center that you've been to. Maybe it's at the beach, the mountains, a resort, a cruise ship, anywhere you'd like. See the facilities. See the setup, the tables, how you have them set up. Visualize it. Now you see your students having a great time, big smiles on their faces and see yourself now, confident, at ease, and having fun too. Get a feel for the structure of the, of the workshop, little flashes and maybe even big canvas projects or little projects like high-end jewelry making and anything in between, whatever you desire. Now, as you continue to feel comfort and peace in your body, mind, and emotions, imagine you could pick up a ticket to the event in your hand and you see the premium price each student paid so gladly just to be able to connect to you. Whatever the current amount or numbers that you see on that ticket, just for fun, double it in your mind. Let it change as you hold it in your hand and now for fun, see the amount increase 10 times. And now even higher, as you still feel so peaceful and comfortable. Good. I take in a big, deep cleansing breath. And when you're ready, open your eyes, feeling like you just had a really good power nap. Like you just went to an emotional chiropractor. <laughs> and you've just completed an important phase of having an emotional adjustment. Sometimes I get... Uh, in my practice as a counselor, I get con compared to an emotional chiropractor. <laughs> Great. Your eyes open now, really ready to learn. How do you feel? Comment that. How do you feel right now? You'll put that in the comment stream for me. I'd love that. Good. All right. And uh, let's continue to, to dig in. All right. Now, I'd like to discuss all three tiers. 
however you would end up, you know, like I said, you could have five tiers, 15 tiers, it doesn't matter. You know, just uh, we'll, we'll just kind of have our eye on three tiers right now. But the usual ranges I've seen with hundreds of teachers all over the world offering, usually the, the ones that are very successful do three tiers. And so there's a lot of flexibility, but let's discuss uh, tier one now. And we're going to call this one ease of entry. Ease of entry could be even free classes that you do in your home while you're in the learn before you earn stage. Or maybe you charge enough just to cover your costs. Or maybe they're free classes to charity. Uh, for example, I've taught hundreds of children in public and private schools and at-risk youth and inner city programs. And I've done many classes, and well, I call them group art therapy, for people living in residential programs. Since I didn't charge anything, I technically lost money, or did I? I've had much interest and goodwill and publicity that channeled people through into my tier two. So another way of doing tier one is also mini art classes. We talked about this on Monday a little bit, but I've done a cra really crazy idea at art fairs uh, where uh, really any event that there's a lot of people passing by where I do a flip cup and then a spin on a four by four tile and I charge $5 for a five minute class. And I give them one-page care instructions that contain my marketing for a list of upcoming workshops. It's very important for them to uh, enter as they're already there. I and mean, it's very easy for them to enter. I'm sorry, they're already there walking by. It's $5, it takes five minutes, and they see other people doing it. And there's just this wow experience that they have when they're getting a great value on creating an art piece and then take it home. Uh, we recently did this in St. Simon's Island, and my whole family did this. My nine-year-old son uh, really loved being the instructor, so I let him at it. <laughs> He's super cute and silly. I <laughs> love to uh, let him tell them how to do this. And what we found is, is that if there was ever a gap and there's nobody at the fair, then nobody's wanting to do it. But if there's a line there, then people gather around and everybody wants to see it. So <laughs> the trick is, is to keep a line going. Good, good. All right. Well, Jessica, I'm seeing that you say elated and Jess, you say relaxed. Good. Um, <laughs> Beth is on a lettuce fixation. I see here. Okay. <laughs> that's great. All right. So that's tier one. So it might be the learn before you earn stage. It might be that you're not super making a whole lot of money yet. You know, you might even be doing some charity work. You might even be doing some crazy ideas like I do, doing some spin art, you know, at a fair. That's not, um, you know, I'm not charging $150 for that. I'm charging five. But actually, I got less than 50 cents of material into that. So it can be quite profitable. But So let's talk about tier two. Now, this is your basic one or what's going to be your mainstay workshop. All right, it's profitable. It's worth your time and it pays you well for all your investments and you're into learning after you've done you've learned everything about fluid art. Remember, you have invested a lot by now. You've watched videos, you've asked questions, you've been stalking artists on social media, you've been practicing this art. You are an expert. You should be paid well. Remember our definition of ex expert from Monday was is that you know more than the people around you. All right, you are an expert. Again, if you know how to flip, if you know how to mix, you know how to swipe, you can do a fantastic work uh, workshop uh, right now. You don't need to do practice anything more yet, right? You can learn other things as you go. This tier must account for not only your costs and plus your profit, but for your time. So in order to be sustainable, it must also cover all of the hidden cost of business. And, you know, we, we can talk more about that um, in other venues, but the, uh, the usual amount is usually about two or three times what somebody originally thinks. And so we see people that are doing classes for $25, $35. I promise you that is not covering all of the hidden costs of doing your business. It's the same thing we talked about with artistry. If, if or in the art class, if you want to be a successful art on Monday, if, is it a hobby or are you, you know, a professional with this? And so if you're going to take your flow art teaching business to the next level, you're going to have to account for all those hidden costs. And what I've seen, unfortunately, is, is it frequently takes people about doing those classes for about six months or so before they realize, hey, and they refigure everything. They go, I've been doing all this work and I've been losing money. Yeah. That can happen very quickly. So, hey, Vanessa. Hey, Kelly. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Becky. Hey, Laura. All right. Glad you guys are here. All right. And uh, those of you that just joined us, you're in t just in time for the special announcement that I have been looking forward to sharing with you. All right. I promised you that on Wednesday, 
in this that we would be uh, announcing something that I think that you're going to be really excited about that's going to affect you and help you to be able to be a highly successful fluid art teacher. All right. So I've been working on this for quite a while. You guys know I was fired. And uh, fluid art and teaching fluid art became the catalyst that I needed to suddenly ramp up and turn this part-time side hustle into something full-time. The means to do that was I started the Teachers of Flow Art group, which still exists today. Um, it's free and uh, continues to be a tremendous resource for myself and other people. And if you were one of those founding members back then, I really sincerely want to thank you for your help because not only did um, our income not take a dip. We actually made more money every month. And so I really started accomplishing some really cool goals. And so I cannot tell you how excited I was when I made more money in a day than I was paid in a week before I lost my job. So uh, more money in a week than I made in a, then I made more money in one week than I made in a month. So those are kind of some cool goals. Uh, so you can accomplish those things too. Yeah. Um, so Vanessa, you said that your dentist too, too, took too long. I tell you what, they used the same kind of Novocaine stuff on my hand yesterday, and I asked the surgeon if I was going to drool like I normally do when, they <laughs> when I go to the dentist. <laughs> hey, Leah. All right. And so I was in this really blessed position to be in the center of information that flows um, on this group, and I'm moderating the group. Really does it takes if you're going to do it right, it takes hours daily, and I have easily put in over a thousand hours into the uh, teaching group. And I'm so grateful for Kathy, and she can she can tell you now she's taken over the blunt of that work with the majority of approving people and approving posts. Um, as it, that's been a huge, huge blessing to me. But as good as it's been, it's been it came a time in uh, January where it was time for the next step, and so I started a a paid level group. It was kind of an ease of entry, if you will, for um, the people that are attending and been benefiting from that group there. We've had a, a lot of fun. We've learned a lot. And it was really neat because it kind of, I don't know, it separated the cream kind of floated to the top. And so the people, even though they had to pay a little something uh, monthly to attend that, um, it, it's not very much. Um, but it was a little skin in the game. It kind of helped them to have to invest in it and we are more invested in what we invest in so and ironically like uh two weeks before i was announcing that paid membership group i had a sweet sweet lady on the class on the group actually contact me and said casey would you please start a patreon um group because me and some other people we're just so grateful for all that you do on the on the group that we want to send you some support you know we want you want you to have some money you know for what you're doing patreon if you don't if you're unaware of it is a means a lot of artists use it a lot of music artists use it other people to have a steady income come in where people are giving you money because of the work that you're doing right or because what you're what, what you're accomplishing you know in your life and so it's a it's a it's a really neat way to do that and i thought i was just so blessed by that because i mean wow you know somebody was contacting me <laughs> to give me money I, that's a unique thing right but uh, i went to the other direction i said well just channel that same money into um you know being part of this group right where i can also give back as a mentor and a coach and be able to su give more support to those who contribute so not so coincidentally, in this um, whole three-tiered uh, structured approach, do I have three tiers planned as well. And so today, I'm launching a new level paid membership group for Teachers of Flow. Now, the free group and the community group that you may already be a member of will remain the same. Okay, so don't worry about that. That's a, if you, you can you can just keep on trucking. You don't have to do what I'm about to propose, and you'll get still get the same benefit from everything. But uh, the third group will help us go further, farther, and faster in building your business. And the month monthly membership fee will do two important things. One, like we talked about, that you'll have a little skin in the game, and you'll appreciate and act on what you've invested in. And then two is the income that, that I receive will get, allow me to dedicate more time, energy, and resources and help you with your – and give you more individual attention on the – current group, um, it is a community group. They're kind of answering their own questions. I'm um, doing some uh, live 
training on there, etc., but not really any one-on-one -on -one stuff. But now we're going into the next level where it's going to have two main features that's going to offer some individualized attention to really help you get going no matter where you are. If you haven't started teaching yet, great. I can help you with that. If you're already teaching but you want to go to the next level, great. Well, this accelerated program will help you with that. The accelerated program is going to be $197 a month with a six month commitment. And let's talk about what you get for that. It starts off with something called a strategy session, and this is gonna be a one-on-one -on -one dynamic planning session with me. And so I've been selling these for $300. You've seen them maybe on my uh, sites before for just the uh, strategy session. Also a individual one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. And this is something that I do um, in my office here in Badasta uh, every week. And I do them online uh, with people all over the world and I charge $175 for those. And so for in this case, what this is gonna be is it's an organized time of personal accountability to give needed structure to your process. While I'm supporting you to give you a methodology to get from where you are to where you wanna be. The third aspect of it is a monthly mastermind group. These are dy these these dynamic interactive small groups are held online and they will really be key and I, I promise you when you look back a year from now you will say that they made the biggest difference in your business and lifestyle. All right. Um, I, many of you know that I participated in Matt Tommy's uh, artist program that um, that program I pay $47 a month for it doesn't have any kind of individualized attention it's all you know digital and accessible that way and I also lead um, monthly mastermind groups for Matt Tommy there and so I, I've seen how productive that is I've, I've led mastermind groups for my entire career for the whole uh, 20 years they're fantastic um, and now this one will be custom in the highly specialized niche of flow art teaching that's kind of powerful when we think about getting that specific. Great. You'll also be a part of the private community and you'll be admitted into the Teachers of Flow community group. And that's one of the neatest con comments that I get on that one is that, you know, people don't feel alone anymore. They have a connection with like-minded people and they, they can not only get you know, advice, but also understanding from people. And I know that as creatives, we sometimes get stuck uh, thinking that we already know how we can creatively problem solve in any of our business, but really, why reinvent the wheel? Uh, it helps us to work smarter, not harder. And so the community group, the value is $39. It will be that price at some point. Um, and in fact, the price is going to go up soon. Right now, it's not at that price. And then a monthly coaching call that is on that group. It's a themed webinar. And oftentimes it's kind of a look over your shoulder and I do a, sh a screen share of just how to use social media or apps or other technologies. And then it always has a Q&A section there in which people submit questions the week before and then we answer them there. You'll also have immediate access to the, our education vault <laughs> of the learning units. And what we have on there right now is the a whole, you, learning unit on the lifestyle. We've got to begin with the end in mind. And then two is the mini spin art lessons at fairs. You would not believe the amount of questions and how many videos and uh, documents and handouts and signs and everything that you need that's all in that one particular unit to be able to do that like I just described doing that at the fair. Um, we have a uh, section on online teaching, which is uh, something we'll see more and more uh, about. I plan on doing that in 2019 myself. And then Hobby Lobby's free classroom. Uh, how, to, how to navigate that, how to get in there, how to utilize it. Marketing, how to get students into your classes, that's an important one. And productivity, how do we get things done? What's your system to be productive? Also, there's a section for free lesson plans and themes. And so if you're trying to plan your, what am I going to do next month, you know, for my, for my students, just go there and pick a theme, right? We've got some great holiday themes going on there too. Um, how to get sponsored, a whole section on that, which will go into greater detail, more access than um, we're able to do in the one hour uh, webinar that's going to be on Friday. Also, a new one is a party plan model. And so that's, that's kind of neat uh, as, as far as taking, uh, doing our business of flow art teaching in all kinds of different directions. You also get a bonus, which is the teaching flow art business franchise in a box. And so if I was going to franchise my business, which is called Dynamic Fluid Art, 
all the forms, processes, procedures. Um, the, you could literally just do a find and replace uh, with your business name and then print them and your next class you would just be like a boss. You would have everything all together. So uh, click here at this link uh, that's in blue on the handout to, uh, to find out more information and to be able to join that program. The cart is open today and it will close at the end of next week. So this is just I'm looking for a handful of people that I can work with very, very closely um, over the next six months and I'm really looking forward to meeting with you. So that, that door is going to open and that door is going to close very quickly um, whenever we exceed uh, the number or if we exceed the time then the cart is going to go offline. So if you're interested in that I would sign up today. Great. Now that was the big announcement. Let's get back to the topic of the seminar which we only have one tier left which is tier three. And this is this this is our premium tier. This is maybe the one that you imagined with our eyes closed a few minutes ago while we were thinking about what would be the ideal environment. How what would we really really like to do when it comes to teaching? I'll share you a little bit about mine. You know, five years from now, whenever it might be, I would like to exclusively do retreats. And with my background in teaching meditation, like we just do, or mind-based mood management and uh, how to counter anxiety and you know my uh, uh, co my counseling background and then coaching as far as get how to get from where you are to where you want to be and then combining that with a lot of fluid art uh, almost like art therapy and to do an entire retreat uh, weekend retreat four-day retreats etc um, all uh, it's some really cool places and including cruise ships and those types of things and so that's what um that's that's my that's my premium that's what i want to be doing in the future what yours looks like you know could be uh, absolutely anything right you, you, yours could, of course would be very different than mine and so i just want you to keep your vision in mind allow it to evolve and change and grow right it doesn't have to look exactly the way that you imagined it a few minutes ago um because you know we're, we'll find out new opportunities and new things but be thinking about not just, you know, how can I make next month work using fluid art? Think about five years, ten years down the road. What what I want to be doing with this? Probably next year is probably just a real good one. Next year, how do you want you teaching fluid art and your fluid art? What do you want that to look like? How do you want that to fit into your life? What kind of doors do you want it to open for you? Great. Good. So some people will funnel through all three tiers, but I want you to keep in mind that we're building connections and relationship and trust with our students. And we, we constantly want to help them move upward, right? So it might be the same people in your level one when you're in the learn to earn stage that attend your basic one where you're getting all your, you know, it's profitable for you. And they may even continue one day to go into your dream, you know, whatever that looks like for you. Um, but most likely, it's not so much like a funnel, it's more like a, a colander <laughs> where it has a lot of holes all over the place. It, you know, a funnel has a, has a big entrance, you know, on one end and then a small, you know, funnels down to a small exit, you know, where you might go through, through um, the tier one, two, and three. All right, but most likely it's going to be a colander <laughs> where people are coming from all different kinds of angles. They're not necessarily going through all three of our tiers. And so they're coming in and going out at different points. And that certainly is okay. Uh, sometimes your ideal student for your premium workshop may not be resourced from your lower tier offering. Matter of fact, I think the majority of time that's going to be those those differences between our high income and our low income uh, clients. And so the big idea is that you're going to be getting more experience and you're going to be building more connections that will result in finding more idea ideal clients all right so I'm seeing here uh, Gina says that your video keeps buffering I don't know if that's a local issue on your part I hope it's not an internet issue on on my part I'll tell you that when we moved to this metropolitan area of over 100,000 people here in Valdosta Georgia I purposely bought the most expensive <laughs> internet package that I could that guaranteed me the highest speed but it's still far from perfect so I think we're getting there as a world but we're not quite there yet so so, uh, Gina, if it's uh, if it is a local I issue, then later you should be able to access the entire thing and watch it again uh, without any kind of problem. Let me take a, a sip here. Good. Beth says hers is doing good. Good. Good to know. All right. 
Another way to practically uh, apply this tiered approach is even in the very same day. And so I have a loss leader class that I do for like $29 in the morning. That's my nine fundamentals that and people leave with only uh, three tiles, right? Four by four tiles. But they get hooked. And so even if they didn't initially sign up for the afternoon class, that is usually between $69 and $99, um, you know, they'll say, oh, I'm staying, Case. <laughs> Where do I pay? This is great. I have a lot of people that get hooked in the morning and they stay for the afternoon. And so, um, you know, I routinely make over $1,000 by teaching these two classes combined, right? And so that's over $200 an hour, which is my established um, worth. Now, you got to think about what yours is, and then our goal is to grow that, right? Um, it, it gets us back into the mindset that is needed. Why is my established per hour worth? Well, I charge $175 to um, in coaching and life, um, uh, counseling, excuse me, and life coaching. I do this every week. I've been doing this for many years this way. And so I've become comfortable with that amount. But even then, I had to grow into it. And I want to grow further, so I'm in the process of being comfortable with higher amounts. And what I mean by comfortable is our comfort zone. And so when we get outside of our comfort zone, it is, uh, it is subconsciously driven and then will self-sabotage, usually some kind of destructive implosion to get us back to where we feel like we deserve to be, all right? So if you see it like a dome over you and that's your comfort zone, anytime that you grow out of that, you know, you walk on either direction or grow above it, um, your comfort zone is now uncomfortable and uh, perpetually staying on the edge of just getting by. If that describes you, if you're like, wow, Casey, okay, so if I look back at, you know, many years, you know, I just kind of always just barely get by. Don't really have anything in savings, not really going anywhere substantial. Um, then this is an issue of your subconscious driven comfort zone. And so that's kind of the work that we're going to be doing in the, in the next level. When we, you join up for the program, you pay $197 a month for a, a minimum of six months. And you and I will be working monthly on <laughs> destroying <laughs> that old comfort zone. That sounds comforting, doesn't it? And those ways that we self-sabotage ourselves so that we can get beyond it. If you do not fix this mindset, I promise you, you're not going to go anywhere, right? You have all heard the stories about the people that won $20 million in lotto, and a few years later, they check back in with them, and they're in a worse financial situation than they were before, all right? What's going on there? They got outside their comfort zone. Something inside of them said, we don't deserve this, and self-sabotaged and imploded, and now they have nothing for that. You know, and I, have, I, I know people that this kind of thing has happened to, and if they would have adjusted their mindset in the beginning, then they would still have that money. They'd still have those resources. They'd still be having this really blessed life today. So what is your established hourly worth? This is uh, one of the, I'm just giving you an example of one of the exercises that needs to be done, just one of many, to be able to help us in our uh, uh, mindset changes. So is it $30 an hour, is it $20 an hour, is it $8 an hour? You know, let's put it to the test. I want you to run the math on your last workshop. After all the hidden expenses and your hidden time is accounted for, chances are you will land at that locked in hourly wage that is inside of your comfort zone, what you feel like that you're worth. If you feel like you're worth minimum wage, then after all the time and everything that happens and these coincidences and you know people that no show for no <laughs> reason that feels out of your control, actually you may have done something to subconsciously uh, sabotage that effort to get you into that area in which you are comfortable. So listen, this will help. You see, the profit from your art business cannot be what you are just paid per hour, right? You got to get out of that mindset. That's an old way of thinking. Even at the most you have ever been paid at a job, that's still not enough because a job is not a business. In a business, you have additional expenses and time that are hidden that most people don't see, they don't know about. One way to overcome this limited mindset is to accept this adage. Whoever takes the risk deserves the reward. We all heard it. Risk, reward. You take the risk, you get the reward. And I promise you that in your business and other things that you do, that whenever you take a risk, it's not always going to work out, is it? One of the things that we do in the paid group is we have Failure Fridays 
to celebrate the fact that we took a risk, even though it didn't work out, we took a risk and we all applaud each other for taking the freaking <laughs> risk. Because you cannot ever be successful if you don't fail by taking some risks. Business owners take risks in which they could experience loss. In fact, I guarantee we all have lost and all will lose <laughs> at the game sometimes. So we will lose some money to a degree. I have purchased some supplies that I couldn't use. That was a loss. Uh, in the big picture, that loss has to be covered. And an hourly rate simply cannot cover those risks, cannot cover those losses. And really an exciting part about this is, is that this is a new way of thinking and if this is particularly new for you, then you will have to grow as a person. That's good. Growth is change. Change is scary, <laughs> but growth is good. Freedom is someday no longer trading hours for dollars. Someday soon, you could be making passive income unrelated to the time that you put in. That's the way that wealthy people operate. They're not trading hours for dollars anymore. So those are the three tiers, and that is the big announcement, all right? We're right on our time here, and so if you have been holding back some questions, now would be a time to put that into the comments. I would love to answer your questions. So tomorrow, we will cover the four supercharged, uh, excuse me, uh, number four is the supercharge your social media efforts to book out your classes. Friday, we're gonna be talking about uh, when no one tells you about how to get sponsored so that you will we'll get free paint and other supplies. And then Saturday will make up for Tuesday or yesterday whenever I could um, not, uh, <laughs> not attend due to surgery. So here's the action steps for today. And then I'm going to be checking out um, any questions that you might have in there. One is uh, study and complete, you know, the handouts. A lot of them have blanks in them. If you haven't downloaded them yet, you know, a real good idea is uh, if you if you like uh, to write, you know, pen, paper, that kind of stuff, print them out, put them in a three-ring binder, collect them together, uh, do the work. Read the emails that I send you. Uh, there'll be some additional information even about the um, announcement that we had today that I'll be emailing you within the next 24 hours. Consider all the benefits to owning the Accelerator membership program. Click on that link right there to be able to get you to um, go through. It's going to be very similar to how you got on this group here. I use software called 22 Social where you put in your email and you check the box so I can private message you. And this one has a pay gate in it so you can make a payment online to be able to do that. And share this so that others can join us too. It's not too late. They can catch up by watching the replays and the handouts are available in the group. All of that is going to evaporate next week. And so if you're behind on that, please get caught up. And so uh, let's draw a for a winner um, here. Let's try, whoop, it's got all stroby on us there. Sorry about that. All right. And our winner is Laura. I saw you on here. All right, Laura Hoffner. All right, so you are a winner of free art supplies. I'm very excited for you. All right. So let's see any questions that we have. All right, see people saying there's no buffering issues here. Okay, um, Joe and Tanya and Deborah, I'm glad that you guys joined us here. And Laura, I saw that you were on here, so I'm really glad about that. All right, and I'm just using my phone to look for questions. Anybody have any questions for today before we sign off? If not, I will soon be putting that link right into, when I get off here, I'm going to put that link into the thread so that you can um, get into, in fact, I can do it right now, so that you can go over and check out, Toby again, sorry about that, ciao, all right, um, let's put this over here on Laura for the winner. All right. Good job, Laura. All right. So Laura, what I want you to do is a private message me with your um, address that you want these free art supplies mailed to. I want to thank everybody. I'm not seeing any, any questions come in. Let's try to check one more time at the bottom here. Okay, great. And um, uh, please consider joining the program. The door is open. The gate, what they call the cart, is um, is open today, and it will close at the end of next week. So you don't have much time. It'd be, and, and if it fills up, then I will close the 
the cart early. And so I'd love to, uh, to work with you. So thanks so much for joining us, guys. I will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. See you later.